And we're back to more spooktacular for uh, Earthbound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just hanged out in the fall-esque town of Tucson. They're enjoying a Halloween celebration after uh, the destruction of Gagas, so let's keep chatting with the folks, see what's up. Round fall, the flies start dying. Ah, oh, well, my superb baking will surely make up for that. What would you like? I'll be cooking garlic bag, old pumpkin loaf, a cup of coffee. Nothing we can afford, of course. We are broke. <laughs> we are flat broke. <laughs> I think this guy's the go-to go guy for healing items, though. I own an antique shop, but the only old things I have are rocks. Science class says that some of these rocks are millions of years old. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Dinosaurs could have walked on these. <laughs> I inherited some un antique weaponry, but it's still junk to me, Mon. What do you want? So what would you like, Mon? And this guy sells the good shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. A yeah. rapier? Yeah, the rapier is very good. <laughs> also, this is useful, too, I think. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be back. Medieval Mon might be, able, might be able to make good use of this here thing. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I sell my, all my rulers at school now. You could say I rule the school. Except that would probably get me punched in the face with it. <laughs> I love those guys. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, senor, this is the greatest Mexican stereotype costume ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks for jumping <laughs> off the roof and telling me. Hell yes, Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> I apologize to any of our Mexican friends watching this. Yeah. For this glorious depiction of culture. However, though, I do love your culture and... Seiko de Mias, I think it is. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> Seiko de Mayo? Seiko de Mayo, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Rip Banana Woman, your yellow yearning will not be forgotten. Oh, the Banana Woman's dead. She died. Or just not here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like at home. M miss not appearing in this game. Yeah. Let's see. Looking around the south side. Probably some. Wandering beasties around this area, I would guess. Maybe not quite here, but. Yeah. Well, I heard from Apple Kid dresses up as a tomato for Halloween. How uncreative. <laughs> a dreamy orange kid is dressing up as a tangerine. What? You say it's unoriginal? No, no, it's meta. He's so avant garde. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tucson is different from on it. We have a longer name. <laughs> By, I think, one letter. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We got to beat, damn it. Orange kid. What are you up to? There's salutations, peasant. There, you smell almost as worse as an apple kid. In any case, I'm orange kid, and I'm an amazing adventure. Although you can call me Tangerine Kid. If you couldn't tell from my amazing costume. <laughs> Snort. On Halloween night, I'm gonna try to pick up some sweet things. I don't really, I'm not really talking about candy either, if oh. you get it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Wow. Anyway, you smell a little funny, but that's a great costume you got there yourself. If you're hanging around here, maybe we could hang out. <laughs> Leaving. <laughs> I think I'll leave, actually. I think I'll leave. <laughs> what? I don't eat tomatoes. All I have is a really bad gut feeling. It's not from anything I've eaten. After me and Dr. Andonuts invented this phase disorder and the kids went back in time to sacrifice themselves against Gygus, I got this awful feeling in the pit of my stomach. Of course, not that I just feel guilty sending them back in time. Statistically, it was the right thing for us to do, but I haven't seen the doctor ever since we got the bad news. Where could he be? Hmm. 
I don't know. No one has given me a name yet. You can just call me King Manly Pants. <laughs> the third until then. The third. <laughs> Very important third. Yeah. Great. Little feces in this trash can. Oh, that's great. Well, he's got a shit somewhere. <laughs> I, I guess so, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> I think those guys are bad news. I think they can kill the shit out of me. But it wouldn't hurt to see what it is, I suppose, would it? Pseudo zombie. Yeah, I think these are bad news. <laughs> oh, that helps. Maybe. <laughs> Becomes friendly and affectionate. <laughs> Yeah, also this game is custom sprites, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. I do want that. All thanks to my critical and taming him, apparently. Yeah. That one hit is like, I, I, I don't want to fight you, man, come on! <laughs> Spooky! Not too creepy when I fight him. Good job, me. <laughs> totally earned that one. We weren't going to die to the first zombie we ran into. <laughs> we definitely could have. We'll do a thousand times, munch munch. Unless you've got almond joys or baby roots, munch munch munch. Don't knock on my door when I'm eating, munch munch. This is... The stench elemental. <laughs> Ah, you jerk! Son of a... Uh-oh. Stop that! I don't like it. It tickles in just an unpleasant way, you know? Yeah. Huzzah! Hell yeah, Scuts went up by three. This is a Nintendo game, no swearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. The censors would never stand for it. Yeah, this game wouldn't quite have passed muster in the 90s, I think. Nah. <laughs> First, find a bird in your sandbox. That's a pretty funky dance, Garfield. Show me how you do. This <laughs> is John Arbuckle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no cartoonists in this game. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this could be interesting. <laughs> Kitty the Dinosaur and Peer Pressure Puppet. <laughs> nice. Stop pressuring me. Even the dinosaurs are spitting pumpkin seeds at me. Oh, well, that's not good. That ain't good at all. It's intensely mediocre. Uh-oh. There we go. Fuck you. We're free. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if it's just gonna keep spying on us, I think that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Until it's like some lunch on me. Yeah. Until I punch it in the face. Oh, my offense. All my defense. No, I need that. <laughs> Killed the kitty eating dinosaur, and now this other peer pressure puppet. Well, we're tackling each other, but you're weaker than I am, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of defense, not so much HP. Just the way we like them. All eagles are endangered. Don't eat them. Good advice. I think so. Yeah, and also this is like a remix version of the Tucson theme, so it's got custom music, too, in this game. That's good. Yeah, it's yeah. like a remix of the of the Tucson theme and the love theme, I think. Oh yeah. So yeah. Candy hobby. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Tip Hazardy? How oh, great. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep punching you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fun with that. Halloween candy, yay! Just beat him up and stole his frickin' candy. That's how I do my Halloween trick or treating. Hell yeah. <laughs> with better way to do it, really. <laughs> Just in time to come back. Normally I'd be scared that guy gets his rampaging again. But it's almost Halloween, so I figured I'll give him a break. <laughs> yeah, they just didn't scare the season. Yeah. So yeah, still not going to three, of course. You don't have the tour bus on your side. <laughs> but these guys are more seasonally appropriate than ever, so... <laughs> <laughs> I always like these dudes. Just hanging out in this freaking tunnel. And then you're surrounded. <laughs> it's one of my favorite can't go there yet in video games, I think. Yeah. Just getting harassed by ghosts in a tunnel. <laughs> Let's see. One, one other enemy type I can see area around here. Sub sandwich. Nice. Take it. Stench elemental. An offense to all good citizens everywhere. I mean, he lives in a trash can, aren't we? <laughs> it's black. He shouldn't be walking around, though. You gotta give me that. He should just stay in place. <laughs> Ain't nobody helping him. <laughs> Go behind the building. Be heard a little alone. It's all I'm saying. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Frankenstein. Well, that's easy enough. <laughs> Killed the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah. I just like the sprite. <laughs> yeah. I have OCD. I must stand next to signs or I will kill something. Or someone. <laughs> someone or something. Star. I want to play with Paula, but she's gone. I wish we could. she could come back and play with all of us again. Paula was like a mother to me. I regret her infinite absence, but we must go on. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I may have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. That does not mean I cannot be an astronaut for Halloween, however. Whoosh! <laughs> I like that kid. That kid's good. Cool. Yep. Yeah. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dead and lost in time and space. <laughs> Do you think it'll make her proud? I hope so. Yeah. Whistle, whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. Huh? No, I'm not worried. She's our guardian angel watching over us. Well, you took your daughter's death <laughs> quite well. She was definitely like a, a very free spirit in the original game, too. Yeah. <laughs> the father seemed more of the worried war. Hi. I'm Paula's father, or rather, I was. She and her friends, brave fools that they were, went back in time to combat the ultimate evil, Gygus. Needs to say, they never returned. Everyone else has moved on, and I'm trying my best. And sometimes I find myself in tears at the sacrifice we made. Never again will we share another piece of apple pie. Never again will I see her smiling with that kid at her arms and tell him to sleep on the couch. If I had been there, that's 
With that stupid doctor, I would have gone back to the time myself. Guys can't resist my baking prowess. <laughs> but I know only she could defeat him. It was for the best. Oh my. What am I doing pouring my heart into a complete stranger? Completely sleep at once. <laughs> now I'm gonna raid your house. Bye. <laughs> yep. Got any teddy bears I can take? Teddy bear. Where is it? Where is a teddy bear? How about that? It's my teddy bear. <laughs> Barracks comfort bear. <laughs> Only you understand me, teddy bear. Taking this by. <laughs> <laughs> Taking this memento of your daughter. Of course you don't mind. Pizza. I miss when stores just said what they had. <laughs> hey, cutie. What? Oh, pizza? <laughs> oh, the teddy bear. <laughs> oh, no, we don't sell pizza here. In fact, um, I actually... I lost the phone. Card, <laughs> That's <forget>. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I can give you mine if you like. Nice, smooth. Or we go out back and dig through the dumpster. Sounds like a date. It could be romantic, you never know. Please, I'm desperate! <laughs> Lady, you need help. <laughs> don't, think, uh, don't think a date's gonna help you. The ghosts are back in the tunnel. To me, it just sounds like a cheap trick to prevent people from going to three. Uh, <laughs> yeah, stupid pranky teens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not taking the bus. Anyone you know could be a life-sucking vampire, you know? They're right there! <laughs> hey there, bounty hunter. Take it easy. Oh, you really are a bounty hunter. I'm just what you call Al. <laughs> I'm just gonna call you Al. <laughs> I'm just gonna call you Al. <laughs> monsters Sassafras. When I was in the war, we had 50 monsters. And they were uphill both ways. Oh, you're that grandpa. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Put us up with the arrangements and up these benches. That's true. It's kind of, kind of good. Yeah, it's just kind of lackadaisically all over the place, <laughs> <Yeah>. huh? <laughs> no thought really behind the placement whatsoever. You've got a point, sir. You raise a... Raise oh, a, see, the guy would be murdering. <laughs> yeah. Me and my friends were going to have a sleepover and tell scary stories. Except for the rosemary bed. It really seems kind of redundant. <laughs> They're the ones that were the tar target of this murder we heard whispering about. Yeah. <laughs> If you go east, you could run into trouble. Global warming has all allowed the growth of some potentially nasty specimens. <laughs> Global warming. Nice. It's a good, uh, good excuse for these. Oh, we have guy gets all by herself. That glasses wearing punk tagging along, dead weight. I bet she's vacationing on some sunny beach wearing sex pajamas in a swimsuit. Ooh la la. I don't want to know what sex pajamas are. <laughs> Sounds like quite an invention. Yeah. <laughs> happy, happy village ahead, but you'll never get there. I think it's, I think it's the mobile sprouts are here. I think. No, it's just or a giant monsters. rock. <laughs> get out of here. Jesus, how many monsters does it take to stop people like you? I have a mind to... Ah! There's, there's, <laughs> there's the welcoming party. Just tip going by. Don't mind me. Yeah, just leave me alone. <laughs> Trying to get back to safety. Yup. Hey, no mind. I think we've covered the length and breadth for the most part, so back to the chaos theater. If you want to see the manager, please step right through this door. You might want to wipe your feet, too. Hey, 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 hey! I'm ex-mayor B.H. Purple of Onnit. No, no, I'm not here to get you in trouble. You're a pretty popular guy, what's your face? Ever since you drifted into town like some straddling cowboy, people have been flocking to my show for a chance to see you. 
I don't know where you came from, and it doesn't really matter. No, what I have to tell you is really important. The people are terrified. They need a hero. A girl's parents? They were found dead in their own home. Parts of them, anyway. The girl should, said she saw some horrible creature break the window and lurch inside. She saw it slowly stagger into her parents' room. She sat there, petrified, silent, fearful for her very life. Through her door, she saw the monster grab her parents, tear them apart, shove their innards down its throat, and scream hungrily, its mouth drenched with blood. Crime scene reports have returned nothing conclusive. The scabby footprints led officials back to the long sewer pipe that connects to Foggy Land. They deducted that the creature came from winters. The towns reinforced their manhole covers, put on a curfew. For the most part, life's getting back to normal. Everyone figures that they're not as unlucky as the Rosemary's. Nobody wants to worry about getting eaten alive. Catch my drift? But boy, was it shocking. Where'd that monster come from? Are there more of them? Look, kid, you look like a hero. You smell like a hero. Everyone can just tell that sort of thing. Go find where that monster came from and kill it. It's not a request, it's a demand. Ignore it if you want, but the blood of innocence will be on your hands. Here's the key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Very about the key to the sewers. Right on. <laughs> the story. Key to the sewers. Key to the Tucson sewers. Simple enough. <laughs> you teddy bear. <laughs> we can do that after that one. Crunchy foot longer filled with bologna, crisp lettuce, and tomatoes. This one is a pickle inside. You can use free in your step for about one second. Ha ha. Also, it comes about 120 HP because if you care. Oh, I care about his that glorious one second of speed. <laughs> Good old skip sandwich from the original game. Yeah. <laughs> do we want to poke right into the sewers? We'll poke our head in next time. Oh, cliffhanger. <laughs> Until then, have a good one, guys. So long. Time for spooky next time. Yeah, we'll get into the spooky sewers. <laughs> yeah.